Hello everyone and welcome back to the deer cast. Um, you might remember uh, or recognise this little block of woodland. Um, we've been in here before a few times, um, once for uh, some fallow, another time for some muntjac uh, and also for um, the fallow buck uh, that I've called the fallow buck of a lifetime. Um, we're recording this video uh, in April, uh, so fallow does are now out of season, um, fallow bucks, prickets, sorrel, saws, etc. are all still in season, um, but the main reason we were in here um, is because it is pretty uh, alive with, with muntjac, uh, and now that the sort of main fallow doe season is over, we thought we'd, uh, we'd concentrate on trying to reduce some of the, the muntjac numbers. Um, it can be quite a tricky little woodland stalk. Um, because of the topography uh, it come it sort of runs up to the brow of a hill uh, and you tend to get uh, a lot of the muntjac sort of along that brow of the hill where the woodland meets uh, a small paddock so you've either got to get in there early enough that you catch them on their way up to the top of the hill um, or late enough sort of in the morning where they're coming back off the paddocks uh, back into the woodland it also can be quite a, a good little spot to come uh, just during the day because you'll, you'll sort of sometimes find muntjac sort of couched up somewhere and um, just chewing the cud as it were um, how we generally approach it when we're in, sort of uh, after Muntjac is to walk straight down this track uh, in front of us. Uh, again, some of you might remember a, a video where we shot uh, from this track out to the left uh, at a group of sunbathing fallow does. Um, that obviously won't be happening today. Uh, so we tend to stalk straight down this track uh, and then see what we, uh, what we come across on our right hand side uh, and ahead of us. So by this point in the stalk, uh, as we've been coming down this track, we'd noticed a heat signature um, off to our right hand side. Um, quite difficult to tell what it was because it was fairly small, um, low to the ground uh, and in amongst uh, some old feed bins. Um, so it was difficult to tell whether it was a squirrel, a rabbit, a hare um, or possibly a muntjac. So thought we'd take it nice and slow um, and just kind of creep up on it and see what it might be. Now you can also hear um, a munjack barking in the background. Uh, we'd disturb that one as we'd come into this wood. There's another tiny little bit of wood off to the left hand side. Um, it seemed to stay there for probably about an hour or so just barking at us, uh, clearly not the brightest uh, munjack around. Um, we didn't uh, have time in the end to catch up with it, but um, it was always there as a backup. So we managed to identify the heat signature as a muntjac doe um, that was uh, sat up in between um, those feed bins. Um, because of the positioning of the doe, um, it was quite difficult um, to get a shot on her um, and it clearly wasn't going to be a body shot um, as she was laid down. Luckily, uh, at this point, she was probably only about um, sort of 50, 60 metres away. Now I know a lot of people will criticise me um, yeah. for not immediately cycling the bolt and getting another chamber, uh, sorry, another round into the chamber. Um, but I tend to find in, in situations like that, it's better to maintain your sight picture and understand exactly what has happened rather than losing sight picture, taking your head off the stock of the rifle to cycle it uh, and get another round in. Uh, and in this case, I could tell uh, Montjack Doe just completely rolled over um, and was, was dead as a doornail. So did then reload the rifle, um, but didn't need one, thankfully. So, if you can believe it, we have just stalked down this woodland edge here and as we were sort of about there, we noticed this muntjac nestled in there in amongst all these old feeders um, to just headshot it 
Um, at first, through the thermal, I thought it was one of the bins giving off a sort of um, um, thermal reading, if you like. Um, and we managed to get sort of within 50 metres or less of this, this Munchak doe. Um, I should say we're recording this uh, in April, so fallow does are out of season. Um, and yes, fallow prickets, buck, sorrel, saws, etc. are, but actually um, now sort of my attention tends to turn to uh, the Munchak really, whilst the cover's still, um, still this low. So great one to get on the deck. You can probably hear there's another one barking behind us. So we're gonna go and uh, try and catch up with that one. So the woods are absolutely crawling with Munjack tonight. So that's our first one there that was shot just there. We literally dragged it to the track so we'd hear another one barking over there when I spotted two others over there. So we've just shot one of them, sorry I didn't get that on film. The other one's barking at us and we've still got that one over there barking at us as well. And I've also spotted another one down there. So, for what was supposed to be quite a quiet evening, just to see what, what fallow we're around, um, we might have a bit of a situation on our hands with the Munjack, so I'm going to try and leave this rolling so that you can hopefully capture um, or get to see a bit more of the uh, footage, but I think we're going to try for a third Munjack. Here's our second lump jack, the buck. Um, it was one of two bucks, there was about out together. This looks like a relatively old, old buck. Dogs found something. Um, and again, headshot him as well. Um, the other one that was with him was absolutely spectacular in terms of out to here in terms of length. Um, Look quite what he's got on the end of it, there. we'll have to have a look at that one, get out on the light a bit better. Um, the other one that he was with, the other buck, was tall, uh, a really nice buck actually to be fair. So quite glad that we um, we didn't get into him a bit, he buggered off, literally just over there. You can probably still hear that one that's still over there somewhere, barking away at us. So I think we're going to get this one extracted out and leave it with the other one. And we've probably still got another 30 minutes of light or so, so we might push on through this wood and um, see what else we find as well. So I think we've probably had our fun for the evening. Um, there's a group of fallow does uh, off into the wood to our left. Um, but nowhere here and there, I mean their skyline, they're stood right at the top. I can't see any prickets in amongst them. So I think we'll call it a day with two month jack uh, on the deck, um, which is pretty successful. Um, uh, we're gonna head back, grab those, get them back to the truck and, um, and get them growlicked. Uh, we'll be back out because if these woods are alive as they seem to be tonight with Muntjac then we've got um, a lot more to get rid of. So I um, hope you've enjoyed this video guys, thank you very much for watching. Please remember to comment, like and subscribe we'll catch you on the next one.